Have you lost your job? Have you lost a loved one? Are you exhausted caring for your parents, for your kids? Well, you can find immediate relief when you read Sheila Mack's new number one bestseller, Bootstraps and Bra Straps. It contains the boots formula to move from rock bottom back into action in any situation, especially right now. The life has knocked you down. Pick yourself up with bootstraps and bra straps. Get your copy at www.sheilamack.com today. Are you ready for a reboot? Welcome to the Sheila Mack Show, reality at its finest. History reminds us those hit hardest often become the change makers. This year, we've all hit crazy economic, social, and emotional rock bottoms. We all get knocked down. Something hits globally, locally, personally. It affects our health, finances, our relationships. We have to recreate a business or career. Each show, Sheila and her special guest will be sharing their reboot stories, guiding you with real solutions to upgrade and up-level emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Here on NBC's KCAA Radio, Mondays at 1 and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Pacific Time. If you're ready to pull yourself up by the bootstraps and bra straps, enjoy a listen. Here's Sheila. Welcome to the Sheila Mack Show, reality at its finest. Here we have real people sharing real stories and actionable steps to help you reinvent, rebuild, and reboot your business and personal life on your terms. I'm your host, Sheila Mack, and today we have special guest Lisa G. She is the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss and creator of the original Skinny Jeans workout that sold over 100,000 units in Target and Walmart. Lisa has been featured in Life and Style Magazine, KTLA 5, CBS News, Thrive Global, and WebMD. She has 20 plus years transforming clients' lives, including Cheryl Teagues and Paul Zane Pilzer. Lisa is recognized as, as an exert VIP lifestyle coach, creating customized wellness. All right, for everyone. That's awesome. Well, welcome to the show, Lisa. Oh, Sheila, thanks so much for having me. I'm thrilled. And one of the things I like to start off each show with is related to my new best-selling book, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, the formula to go from rock bottom back into action. This last 12 months, let's just say, we have been hit with every single rock bottom imaginable and then some. So I like to start off with maybe if you have some tips or a story about a time in your business or personal life where you hit a tough spot and how you got back on track. Well, thank you so much for that question. I First of all, I feel like we're all in a Corona coaster right now of emotional roller coaster of like, our bodies really weren't just meant to be in constant stress for 10 months, you know, it's like fight or flight and fear. And I've had plenty of ups and downs as an entrepreneur. I just launched my podcast about going from stuck to unstoppable based on all my ups and downs before COVID even hit. But what I'd like to offer you guys too is some of the things that helped me just stay sane through this last 10 months. And for me, it, it's all comes back to wellness and having a mindfulness practice. Like I don't even let myself get out of the bed in the morning until I listen to some kind of a guided meditation, whether it's like, Tony Robbins priming or Joe Dispenza space, uh, some kind of a thing. We have to stay in the present moment. Mm -hmm. because fear is what's taking us down. So you got to always be finding a way to come back to present, whether it's some kind of a breathing technique where you just inhale for four counts, hold your breath for four counts, and then exhale for four counts. If you can bring it back to your heart and your breath, and get out of the fear and what you can't control, then you're in a position of power. And then it's like, what can I do? Instead mm. of what what's happening to me, if you take it into more of your heart, you can be like, how can I serve others and show, you know, how to eat better? I'd love to help people in your audience learn like some of my ninja secrets from the Boss Weight Loss book. Yes, that's awesome. And that's so important and very difficult 
um, this year <laughs> or this last 12 months, I should stay, say 2021 is kind of like the continuation, the next, <laughs> the next um, part of 2020, it seems. Uh, how, what are you suggesting for people that are dealing with, okay, we got the COVID 20 pounds and now we got to lose that. What, what do you suggest people do? Because the gyms were closed, things shifted and people were home and they, things, things changed. They had comfort food and the couch. So what, what are your options or ideas for that? Well, I'm here to help you guys with some creating some social distance from the fridge because we've all become just too close to that refrigerator. You know, it used to be you'd leave the house, you go to appointments, meet with people, and now you just have to have a plan. And I think New Year's resolutions always fail by around this time. And I want to support you guys in just trying to take some baby steps. And I don't even want to share all the six steps for success for my book because it all starts with one. Right, Martin Luther King, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. First step that I would love to help you with is intermittent fasting is one of my hugest, biggest secrets that I love to talk about. Mm -hmm. and, and you're either in a fed state or a fasted state. And the changes in my client's body and my body since I've been doing intermittent fasting is just transformative. So you're either in a fed state or a fasted state. And I love intermittent fasting, helps keep your energy levels even helps keep you in a higher energy, like just sustained energy, if you combine that with a low carb, low sugar diet, and you're either eating or sleeping or um, not eating. So basically, I usually just skip breakfast. So I think breakfast being the most important meal of the day might not be true. Mm -hmm. so you're already sleeping for hopefully at least eight of those hours. Just skip breakfast. It's kind of easy. And I'll have like coffee, water with lemon. First meal of day by noon, last meal of day by eight. And that's the 16-8 method of intermittent fasting that I have gotten such tremendous results with. My client Randy lost 40 pounds last year during the COVID. Another wow. client of mine, 25. And it keeps me sane because I know you don't have to worry about nighttime eating because you're over with your window of times you can eat. There's no reason to sit there mindlessly numb out and eat stuff on the couch. You're just going to regret in the morning anyhow. Yes, yes. So are you combining this? You're doing like a low sugar, low fat diet or is it so it's low fat also or? Well, what I teach is um, it, when you eat matters, what you eat matters and having a system that works. It just takes all the guesswork out of it because we all know that resolutions fail. And we all know that diets don't work long-term. So you just need a simple system that works. And then my simple steps all starts with the mindfulness. You have to have the mindset to set yourself up for success. You gotta get out of the mindset of this is hard. I can't do this. And tell yourself you can. Be like, I got this. And you have to have a why. Why, mm -hmm. what do you want? Why do you want it? Why now? So you have to dig a little deeper, have a vision. What do you want to look like? Why do you want it? Why is it important? And if there's there's nothing like a pandemic to shine the light on the importance of health. Yes. Because being overweight is putting you at a high risk for COVID-19 complications, diabetes, heart disease. So right now is a time we should all say, I'm going to focus on my health and it matters because I want to be around to enjoy all my success. I've worked so hard all my life for. Mm -hmm. I help busy people that have spent their whole life building their business and their family and they've neglected their own health. So I put together simple system. You do your morning mindset routine mm -hmm. morning before I get to eat anything, before I even get my coffee, I have to have water with lemon, then I have coffee, but I can't have cream and sugar in it because that takes you out of your fasted state. So you can put a little bit of fat in it. So I use a bulletproof type coffee which is like ghee butter, coconut oil, MCT oil, cinnamon, stevia, things like that don't take you out of the fastest state in small amounts. And then what do you eat during the time you're eating? Now that's important too, if weight loss is a goal, if health is a goal. So low carb, low sugar is less inflammatory. Mm -hmm. It's less spikes in your blood sugar so you can keep your energy levels even all day long. If you're eating foods, like 
salad with protein, vegetables with protein, soups with vegetables, things like that. Just bring it back to simple, basic, real food. It's only when our country started eating things that came in a box that we started getting bigger because they put a lot of carbs and sugar in there to make those things taste good. Yes, and alcohol. Well, alcohol is, is awesome. I'm not going to say that we all haven't had our nights we really wanted alcohol <laughs> during the Corona Coaster, but it, it would just have to go during your eating window. So if I'm going to go out, I, I, less is more. Um, like during the week, probably less. If I'm going to go out on the weekend, I'll just push my window of when I eat back because during your fed state, you can have your drinks after that. It's going to throw you off. For actually losing belly fat, you don't want to have too much alcohol, which can turn into sugar in your system and might be burned off first instead of fat. So if your goal is to burn fat, you got to just think about what you're drinking. Like white wine isn't really your friend. It's kind of addicting. I would say if someone want to offer me a drink right now, tequila, thank you. Hard <laughs> well, is better, everyone. <laughs> What's that? The drink the harder liquors are better. Well, but it's less sugary if you yeah. don't mix it with a lot of sugar. Like if you just take a harder white liquor, like your vodka or your tequila, and then you just add a little club soda, a little lemon or lime, that's not going to spike your sugar blood sugar levels as much as wine. Mm -hmm. I love wine. I'm, I just don't want to be dehumanizing the whole thing because we've all been through so much. But Overdoing the things that are bad for you are not going to make your health better. So right now we've got to bring the focus back to your health and nothing good ever came without sacrifice. So you do have to sacrifice if you want to be healthy. Yes. And so now you were the creator of skinny jeans workout. So how does workout fit into that? And I'd love to hear about the skinny jeans workout. Oh, I'd love to send you a copy. It was years ago, but I happen to still have a bunch of copies. <laughs> it's a, it was a shorter workouts for busy people. So it's like a five minute, a 15 minute, 30 and 45 minute. And you just got to go at your own pace. I feel that less is more when it comes to exercising, food, alcohol. Like you just want to have a lifestyle that you can maintain. So when you go for this black and white thinking of all or nothing, mm -hmm. then you feel disappointed why don't you just try to be 10% healthier every week? Why don't you just try to shift one habit? So what if you just took one week and you just went for the intermittent fasting yeah. and try to nail that 16, eight filling up on water in between. Then you took another week. And what if you tried to exercise for 20 minutes every other day, not beating yourself up if you missed a day. Mm -hmm. And then what if you took the third week and tried to get the processed foods out of your diet and just try to eat more vegetables and food just the way it's found in nature. Like what I want to feel really lean for mm -hmm. a reason, fish and vegetables is what gets me lean. It's simple. It's protein and it's vegetables. It's, it's really simple. It yeah. doesn't have to be overcomplicated and the food doesn't have to taste bad at all. And then I, I'm wondering for families listening and parents listening um what do you suggest for incorporating healthier meals or maybe more of a intermediate fast window for your family now that we have kids at home maybe we're our kids are homeschooling at home and there's snacking or you know what what recommendations do you have so that children are now you know getting diabetes faster than adults because of all the boxed foods. And they're suicidal too. I feel terrible for children right now. It's like for adults, you know, the unknown has been hard for us, for children, mm -hmm. it's been really hard for them too. So as far as your question goes, I love your question because kids do what you do, not what you say. Right. So if you come home one day and say, you know, I want us to be a healthier family so that we can be there and enjoy each other. and we're having vegetables today. And you only put that on the table. There's no other choice. They can't be like, I've seen people, well, this one can't eat that, another one can't eat that. So we're having 
five different meals. Uh -huh. no, you just put the food on the table. This is what we're eating. Eventually, if they're hungry, they'll eat it. Right. You know, and it's it's really interesting for, for me. I know that I have celiac and I have PCOS. And so I have to do I have to eat really clean. I can't drink alcohol at all, hardly because the sugar and I have to, sugars. It's sort of like insulin resistance. It's very interesting. And so my daughter moved in with me with the pandemic and the do dorms closing. And so now she's home and she never said anything. She's an adult, you know, she's in college. She's eating the food, the chicken and the salads and all these healthy things. And, <laughs> and she doesn't have my situation. So she's great already. But one day I do the, the delivery. So I had the Amazon people deliver groceries. And one day I said, I have a surprise for you. And it was a mistake. I had bought, I don't know, some kind of healthy surprise, but they had, they delivered a bag of junk food, like, I don't know, sugar soda and, and sugar cereal. And cause we don't do cereal. I mean, like just all kinds of sugar stuff. And she was so happy oh. <laughs> because she was like, Oh, you wow, I haven't had this kind of food in so long. And I said, Oh honey, that was a complete mistake. And I said, I think you manifested it. You wanted it so bad. <laughs> That's so cute. Well, you know, all autoimmune disease, you need to obviously fight autoimmune disease with a clean diet. And to not get an autoimmune disease, the other thing is to have a clean diet. So you're doing her a huge favor. Yes. So she doesn't have any health problems as she ages because there's so many additives in our soil mm -hmm. that weren't there many years ago that Gluten is just not good for any humans, in my opinion, right. and in the opinion of a lot of doctors that I've interviewed over my career. I've done over a hundred interviews. And um, I believe just if you can skim around the surface of the store and just have the things that are real natural whole foods, mm -hmm. you're just going to be such a better influence on the other people in your life because you want them to be healthy. You want them to be around. You want to be around for them. And you want to be a positive influence on them. And if she's staying there with you or if you have family in the house, just make it fun. You know, have a little dance party for the exercise. You could put on some kind of a YouTube workout and all try to try to not laugh while you're doing a Zumba class. You know, it would be impossible. You know, just make it fun. Yes. Just add in some fun family, healthy activities that the family can do together so you can goof around instead of watching netflix and eating popcorn which is always fun you know you could all be doing yoga workout i started a yoga workout with my family during this pandemic and we do zoom workout on on saturday mornings and it's just a nice way to bond with your family over non-food things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes and i know for uh, we we're doing a, a challenge with a group of friends and so we've got that going on and and my daughter joined in. So she's got her gallon of water. She's drinking a day and she's perfect. She's perfect, perfect, perfect. She doesn't need to even think about it at all. But it's it's still a, a lifestyle. Like when you when you're young, you could just do whatever you want. She says she's never eaten so healthy in her entire life. Because <laughs> imagine when she was at the dorm, she's studying psychology. So she's in for a while and she's almost done with her studies. But, you know, when you're in the college dorm, there's not healthy food available as much. And so she's enjoying the, you know, she's healthier. We walk and we we literally intentionally even move. This is before the pandemic. We moved our home to a, a place that's like where there's lots of grass and, and places to take walks near a lake and a, a community um, sports club, country club place. And, and so it was an intentional move for our family because it really was like, I want to live in a place where I can go paddle boarding and, and go on the boat and do fun things instead of just being stuck at home or in a big city where there's not a lot of fun to do. And then COVID hit, like we barely unpacked and COVID hit. And so it is your environment, no matter where you live, I think the environment makes a big difference and how you set up your day. 
Now, for me, you mentioned Tony Robbins and 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 doing like your morning routine. I know for me, I I learned about meditation and actually went to India <laughs> with the Tony Robbins group. And there I am with the monks. And I literally had a note from the doctor giving me special permission to get up every hour. Cause I was like, I cannot please. I had somebody had rear ended me on the freeway in, in, um, it was near Santa Monica. <laughs> oh my gosh, this happens. It happens all the time. Everyone's like on their phone. Yeah. And so, and he was on his phone, nice, nice young guy. And, and I was like, don't, you know, it's, I'm not going to do anything. I just, but I did have to go check it out. You know, they said, you need to go check it out. So I got a doctor's note, but really I was stiff, but I got the note because mentally I couldn't sit there. And that was many years ago. And now I do the meditation every morning. And before I go to bed, I do another similar to what you do. And it has made a big difference, especially during this crazy time. It's got me through some really hard times. Definitely like the, the mindfulness. I made that mm -hmm. um, resolution last year and I kept it for the whole year. You know, like I said, there's days where I, like sometimes I have to bounce out early because I have people working for me overseas and I might have to respond to an email. But the general rule is not looking at my phone or my email and social media until I've got my mind set up for success. And I know for people like you and I, you know, the type A's, it's hard to sit still and hard to be in the present moment, but it's necessary to set yourself up for success on a daily basis to hit the goals of the things that you said mattered for you, which is why I mentioned that Tony Robbins or the Joe Dispenza or the guided meditations, because it's impossible to sit there and not have thoughts. Like I, I do better with a guided meditation and I know silence is golden and key and stuff, but I'm too hyper for that. I do better at guided meditations. And even mm -hmm. like the Tony Robbins one, because it's like kind of physical. Prime and, yes. uh, yeah, and I'm a very physical person. So it helps me to move that energy around and channel it into what are my top three things that I want to focus on today so I don't get all ADD all over the place and the whole day's gone by and I've got nothing done. Mm -hmm. So mindfulness, hydration, intermittent fasting eating whole real foods healthy fat is good for you like wild caught salmon avocado coconut or olive oil mct oil just eating just regular low carb veggies like spinach cauliflower broccoli just bring it back to nature and eating healthy getting out in nature to get the vitamin d which can help boost your immune system and your endorphins if you're feeling down like just breathe practice slowing down your breathing practice the mindfulness practice the exercise and we all have a hopeful future it might seem like we don't know when mm -hmm. we just can't be here forever so just hang in there find something find somebody to talk to if you're really down it's always helpful to reach for help it's nice just to know that you have that phone a friend option or professional help you know i coach people all the time where we are all been so isolated and it's just nice to have someone to talk to that holds you to the highest level of accountability to hit your goals of the things that you said matter and why do they matter what is your vision for your future and we all have to have a future vision and we all have to stay present and we all have to let go of all of that crappy stuff that happened to us because we all have it yes yes and all the magic moments even this year uh for my family and i last december 2019 we lost my youngest son and he had a heart condition that since fifth grade so we really had extra time we almost lost him in fifth grade he lived to be 22 i'm so sorry and, and it was really hard on our family and we thought in back in February, we thought, OK, we're starting to get back on track and, you know, get back into things. And then COVID hit. And my daughter was like, wow, if ever we needed this universal pause, because we are all type A in our family, it was this year. And we have learned to play again and talk and have adult like now we have an adult parent to adult child relationship. And I am enjoying this bonus time 
with my adult kids that that have to be home from the university. And it's just we really we're having a good time making the best out of this is the situation we're in right now. And instead of just focusing on whatever the news or all that junk that's going to happen, you know, just enjoying what we can and having fun with with each day. And yeah. it's shifted everything. I, I'm so happy that you have this time with your family. And I'm so happy that you brought up finding the good because all terrible things have a, a other side. Yes. Yes. And then you get it's like bad things are gonna happen that we can't control, but it's how you deal with it that matters. Mm -hmm. And how you're dealing with this is so admirable that you're valuing your time with your family. You're lucky that you had just barely moved into a place where you can paddleboard and walk outside and be in nature, not be stuck in a city during a pandemic. And your daughter's getting that pos positive influence of you only giving her healthy food because she's stuck with you. <laughs> yes. And we're having a blast. And she's used to all the healthy food. So so it's nice. It it really is. It is a nice time. And there's a gift in everything. And that's, you know, the purpose of this show is to help people give give them ideas to get back on track during any type of tough situation that happens. I wrote my book the year prior before all this showed up. So it showed up right on time. And one of the other things I do share about the 211, and that's something in every state and province in Canada, if you need extra resources and you're listening in, and maybe you need food on your table, or you need help with rental assistance or mortgage assistance, or maybe mental health, um, alcoholism, some kind of addiction, maybe you're dealing with abuse, whatever there is, if you're a veteran or a senior, you need help placing your senior, go to 211. There's a ton of free resources that I, you know, my intention was how can I get as many resources to people as possible? And a guest showed up on my show and told me about 211. And, and then I learned more about it and contacted them. And it is incredible that nobody knew. Nobody knows about this 211. I've never heard about that. And what a wonderful resource. And what a year if there ever was a year when there's so many of us that are hungry and not working. And it's like the mental health problem, at least 40% of us are having mental health problems now, not even just the children, but it's all of this unknown. So, so wonderful that you want to share your stories of your bootstraps and your bra straps and your two on one and how people can find get help and don't feel like you're all alone we're all going through this and you just need to reach out for help. Yes. Yeah. Asking for help when you need it is okay. It's more than okay because it's going to get you and your family back on track even faster. And for those that are looking to um, get help and maybe um, join one of your programs, how would that work? What does that look like to join your coaching program or what are, how does that, Work well, somebody... you and I, I met on LinkedIn, which I love, um, Lisa Goldenthal on LinkedIn, or my company is called Lisa G Fitness. So I'm also Lisa G Fitness on Facebook, Lisa G Fit on Instagram. And I just launched my whole CEO with Lisa G podcast. And it's basically about going from stuck to unstoppable. It's on iTunes. So um, Lisa G at Lisa G Fit.com. If you guys have need help with losing the weight. I have a 90 day system, I can get you there. And diets don't work. So sometimes you just need somebody holding you to that highest level of accountability to do those steps. You talk to me every week, I hold you accountable. I pick you back up when you fall down, because it's not easy. You just need a system and you need somebody that's gonna hold you accountable to do the things that you need to do to lose the weight so that you won't be a high risk for COVID-19 complications, diabetes, heart disease, autoimmune disease, and you just be healthier and happier and there for your family. Like whatever your why is and whatever your vision is, I can help you get there. And it's not as hard as you think. You just need a simple system and a plan and somebody to explain it to you. That's great. And what is the website again? All right, I have found something magical, something new that I am loving. 
at this stage in my life, I have been switching to the cleanest, best, healthiest makeup, shampoos, uh, facial products. So I did find a incredible uh, makeup line and they have been around quite some time. It is called Beauty Counter and if you go to beautycounter.com slash Sheila Mac, S-H-E-I-L-A-M-A-C or SheilaMac.com and at the top of the menu look for Natural Beauty. That will bring you to the site where you can learn about the specials and give clean beauty a try. I am just loving the difference it's making in my face. And one of the things that was really bothering me was a lot of the other products. I, I could not find eye makeup that wasn't irritating. So this is really like one of the few products I can actually wear around my eyes. And so I'm really loving everything. It makes my skin feel really clean and fresh. And so give it a try. Again, SheilaMac.com com slash natural beauty to learn more. If you are just tuning in, this is NBC Sheila Mack show here on KCAA radio, the station that leaves no listener behind. I'm your host Sheila Mack. And today we are talking about how to get it, how to get ahead when inflation is bad and a recession is looming. So that is the state of our economy. And of course, each economy starts at home. I do believe in manifesting. I do believe in positive action steps as well. So you can meditate and you can ask for good things, but there also requires some work that yes, yes, work is still involved, even in manifesting. You have to step into it, take the next right action and the next right action. And, and that comes with faith and walking with some common steps. So here are a few things that have helped people in certain uncertain times. Obviously, we are living in some crazy, wild, uncertain times. And with rising inflation and the possibility of a recession on the horizon, uh, it can be easy to feel overwhelmed and unsure of how to protect ourselves and our loved ones. However, there are some steps that we can take each of us to weather this storm and come out stronger on the other side. And talking about storms, I am sending prayers and blessings for everybody's safety in Northern California and across the U.S. as we go through some very interesting and crazy weather and storms this season. Now, back to savings. First and foremost, it is important to be mindful of our spending. This means being conscious of our budget and cutting back on unnecessary expenses. This might involve cooking at home more often instead of eating out or opting for a cheaper cell phone plan. Every little bit adds up. And by being more mindful of how we spend our money, we can stretch our budgets further and make our money go farther. Another way to prepare for this crazy inflation and a potential recession is to diversify your income streams. This might involve taking on a part-time job, starting a side hustle, or looking into alternative sources of income, such as renting out your room on Airbnb. Having multiple sources of income can be better to weather any financial storms that may come our way. In addition to these strategies, it is also important to make sure that we have a solid emergency savings fund. This fund should be used only in case of emergencies such as a job loss or an unexpected medical expense. By having some money set aside, we can avoid having to take on debt in times of crisis. Now, I would strongly suggest that if you don't have that emergency fund, get started today. And if at all possible, at least get, get yourself a zero interest credit card if at all possible. Uh, that is something that uh, is still available. 
and nice to have uh, for perhaps a balance transfer to lower some debt and to save some of your money for that emergency fund and kind of spread out your your expenses a little bit more during this time. In addition to these strategies, it is important to make sure that we have a solid fund in case of crisis, yes. So of course, obviously, there's only so much you can save and that's where a small side gig, side income, rental income is really gonna make a difference. So put the pride aside, roll up your sleeves and get ready for some type of side income. I really like having my own business and I do run a few things from my business and it's really important because it gives you many options. You have some tax write-offs that you're allowed if you're running a business and also business credit is amazing. Uh, if used wisely and appropriately. So look into an LLC or S Corp if you are ready for or headed to making a small business on the side. And with a few small steps, you would be able to get your business credit up and running, which is nice. And also there are grants, government grants, and loans for small business owners. So take a look at the SBA to get started there. Finally, it is important to stay informed about what is happening in our economy and to make informed decisions based on this information. This might involve following financial news or speaking with a financial advisor. By staying informed, we can make informed decisions about our finances and better protect ourselves and our loved ones. While it can be scary to think about inflation and the possibility of a recession, there are steps that we can take to protect ourselves and our loved ones by being mindful of our spending, diversifying our income streams, building up that emergency fund and staying informed. We can weather any financial storms that may come our way and come out stronger on the other side. And lastly, remember that in community, we have freedom. So that means sticking together in your family, your group of friends, and then in your community to help one another out during this interesting time. And that is gonna make all the difference. And now I have something else to share with you. Stay tuned. Volume five, Dear Sheila, I'm a 41-year-old divorced mother of a happy pit bull named Freckles. I feel like I have hit a bit of a financial rock bottom. For the last few years, I have been spending a little more money than I earn regularly. And recently, I found out I have a judgment from a debtor. The people I owe money to are constantly harassing me. I already work two jobs and I am now struggling to keep up with Freckles' vet bill. Before my divorce, I always had a stellar credit score and tracked every penny. Unfortunately, it has been challenging to switch to one budget, pay all the related attorney fees, and settle old debts. Now I'm considering filing for bankruptcy to have a fresh start. My relatives are angry with me because they discovered my situation. Sadly, most of it was my ex-husband's purchase on joint accounts, and now I am saddled with both our bills. I keep getting notices in the mail, and I have given up, so I just throw them into a big box because I don't have the money to pay them. What do you think I should do? Bankrupt for freckles. Dear Bankrupt for Freckles, The most important thing you can do right now is to face that debt monster. That means you gotta get the box out and you gotta go through all your bills and put them in order because that energetically will empower you. Either you're gonna be in control of the bills or they're gonna control you. That's the first thing. The next thing to do is you're going to have to start by calling three to five credit repair agencies. They usually will give you a free consult. And it's really important because you have a judgment, it's kind of scary. 
but that doesn't always mean you have to file for bankruptcy. When you get these free consults, they're gonna go over with you how and where you stand with your credit. They'll help you to pull a free credit report and then they'll go over what you can and cannot do, what your options are, and they'll give you a price for working with them. And then you'll see which one is the most affordable, which one, some of them have payment plans. Um, the average range is usually three to $500. Some of them go as high as $700 to work with, and they'll usually get you to, to use a $1 to $20 a month um, credit reporting agency that doesn't ding your credit to check on your credit as it's repaired. Now what happens is even if you can't start working with them like tomorrow, you'll have an idea and you'll get a feel for where you actually stand. They'll be able to tell you of some good attorneys that you can work with on the judgment because that's going to be something that can be cleared up usually without filing bankruptcy but they'll also be able to tell you if that is your only option. In most cases, it's not. And no matter what rock bottom, you know, you had a divorce and it doesn't matter what the rock bottom is. Many times when people go through a rock bottom situation, it hits them in the pocketbook too. And they end up with this situation where they have to start over and reboot their finances as well. So in my book, I have a whole chapter on how to reboot your finances. Um, so I hope this helps. And the other thing that's really important is I know you love freckles and there are some agencies that help out. So the first thing I would do is I would talk to the vet that you're working with now that, that's been with freckles for a long time and see if you can arrange a payment plan for freckles care um, through the vet that you already know. If that doesn't work, I would contact the local Humane Society and they have a list of different vets that are based on a, a sliding scale so that Freckles can get the care that he or she needs and um, that will be the best thing to do. And I know that you'll be able to reboot and rebuild your finances quickly and easily. As always, I wish you life, love, laughter, and light. Thank you for listening to Dear Sheila answering real questions with real solutions to reboot your life. If you have a burning question, you may send your question to www.dearsheila.com or in the comments on my YouTube channel, Sheila Mac Show. And I am excited to share that I am searching for some help with a, an incredible beauty product. I have switched all my makeup and self-care items over to the Beauty Counter products. And these are safe and natural. They have the cleanest standards in beauty. And that's something that was really important to me at this age and stage of my life is keeping toxic free, chemical free, keeping all that junk off of my face and my body. So if you are interested in learning more about getting incredible beauty products or actually in joining my team, then go to www.sheilamac.com and look at the natural beauty tab to get started. If you are just tuning in, this is NBC's Sheila Mac Show here on KCAA Radio, the station that leaves no listener behind. I'm your host, Sheila Mack, and I have some news for you. Yes, you. I'm celebrating my third year now on the station and will be expanding the show to a global network as well. You may now find the Sheila Mack Show on all major podcasting channels, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, all the episodes are now available for viewing there as well. And I'm asking you for a quick favor. If you like the show, please help support the spread of this reboot channel on YouTube as well. My goal is to help as many people as possible through our interesting times to rebuild, reinvent, and reboot your business and personal life. I also wanted to share a little bit more about how I got here. What I do now and how designing a business career and life on your terms 
is more than possible at any age or stage in life. I am an enterprisingly forward-thinking consultant, show host, and best-selling author. But how did I get here? Well, I began my career as an entrepreneur and property investment strategist back when I was 23 years young, when I boldly quit my government job with NASA JPL to open my first of five large gift stores while also starting to invest in property. I got to work with some of the world's most loved companies, such as negotiations on leases with Warner Brothers and winning trips to London as the top selling Crabtree and Evelyn provider in the US for multiple years. My stores were built on heart as I gave back to the community I came from. So now, some of you know this and some of you don't know this, but as a young girl with parents who were not well enough to care for me, I was homeless at age 10, then in foster care where it was really hard to get a job while in the system. I finally emancipated at the age of 15 to start college early. While running my stores, I worked with a government program. Back then, it was called Job Training Partnership Act, making my stores an open source training site where close to 200 at-risk youth started their careers. Yes, I began my career helping business leaders and working professionals to design a life they love where they can have success in their careers and get to the business of life. See, a funny thing happened along the way. Uh, When I first opened my gift store, it was kind of crazy because I was this young upstart. That's what a lot of the store owners called me. Uh, My first store was in Montrose, California, in this sweet little hometown uh, shopping park with other stores and restaurants nearby. And so I was the young upstart that didn't know what she was doing. At least that's what everybody said. And I didn't really care what they said. (laughs) At that age, you know, their opinion was like, I don't really care. So that, that was probably a really good thing because I stayed focused on what I needed to do. And I had negotiated uh, to lease out a 5,000 square foot gift store that needed a lot of work and I I got free rent and uh, for about six months and I had to start making the rent which was five thousand a month which was a lot of money back then a dollar a square foot and so I had to learn and relearn I I finally did hire qu- quite soon in the game I did hire a marketing expert branding expert I guess back then and uh, that lady really helped me to figure things out when I first started. And when you first start a business, especially when you're young, it was like, (laughs) I had no idea what to do, but I needed to learn because my rent was going to start coming due every month. And over that time, I started having more success. I did crazy things like stayed open until almost midnight every night, along with the restaurants who were very close to my store while everybody else closed shop at about 5 or 6 p.m. So I was making more money from the start, and I just really, my store was to help my kids, and the products I sold was whatever the community wanted. I sold lots of things to people in the entertainment industry. I worked with cruise ships. I worked with many different people in the community, and... Later on, the store owners actually came to me and asked me if I would consult them and help them. I actually started buying my other buildings because I didn't like the idea of paying rent for years and years and years and not building equity. So I did get my real estate license uh, through that and invested and bought my other four store buildings. And uh, lots of the other store owners worked with me paid me to consult and help them do what I was doing. And I didn't really even know it was called consulting. I just knew how to figure it out, I guess. And so that's how I started my career. And now 
you know, I raised six children, all that, and now they're grown. And so I get to come to work every day and do what I naturally do best as an entre enterprising and forward thinking business leader. Through my show, courses, and live events, I guide entrepreneurs and working professionals like you through the profitable steps of building a business, creation to expansion, marketing from planning to implementation, wealth preservation through strategic planning and yes, real estate investing, and lifestyle design so that you can earn more while getting back to the business of living your best life. So I do invite you to tune in here uh, to KCAA Radio and also I would really appreciate it if you went to my YouTube channel, Sheila Mack Show, and gave a subscribe and a listen to some of your favorite shows. And I do have some other exciting things, including a free gift to thank you. So if you go to www.sheilamack.com, that's S-H-E-I-L-A-M-A-C, SheilaMack.com, there you can get a free gift to get started on your reboot this year. And now back to the show. Necessitated. You need a guide to show you how we get through a situation like this, to give you resources and to help you get out of the emotional pea soup fog of dealing with a crisis and the resulting fallout. I've been there and I'm here to help you. Out of the fog. If you weren't emotionally bound up in your situation, you would have more clarity. You would be able to see your best options for dealing with whatever comes up. If the version of yourself who has already walked through this rock bottom and come out the other end could go back in time and give you, the you right now, some advice, what would she say? Would she tell you to slow down, to stop rushing, that you don't have to have all the answers today? Would the future you recommend not making any major decisions without reviewing them first, particularly while you're still in the fog? Would she tell you that normal is going to look different for a while, but that you will feel normal again? In case we haven't invented time travel by the time you read this book, I'm here to tell you all of the above. I developed the Boots formula to help you learn to make choices, have a life shift, and make great things happen based on your individual values and best life vision. A change is going to happen, and it's worth it. There is a stage where it feels like everyone in your life is picking at you. Life itself may seem like it's trying its best to stop you from doing whatever you want to do. All you hear is, that's a stupid idea, and that's never going to work, and who do you think you are? One of the hardest things for people to do is to realign and possibly walk away from anything and anyone that conflicts with their value systems. But you are going to discover that power within yourself. Through the activities and examples in this book, you will discover your true north and will be able to easily do what is needed to move forward with your life. Anything that hurts you, that doesn't resonate for you, that fights against what you want and believe in, you are going to give it the boot. Once you have turned your rock bottom moment into a positive, beautiful life shift, you can live your life on your terms. Your life will probably look different, but you get to design it this time. You are taking your life back and you are in charge, not anybody else. Sooner than you can imagine, You'll be in the career of your dreams or the relationship you always wanted. Because you are going to learn to develop healthy boundaries. Because you are going to do things differently along the way from here to there. You will begin to attract the people, the job, the place to live, all of the opportunities that align with who you are, your essence, your truth, not anybody else's, or even society's expectations of the way you're supposed to be. Once you have accepted that you are in charge of living your life and you begin to embody living your truth, 
people are going to see you. They're going to be inspired by you. Then you're going to hear, hey, can you show me how you did that? I want to do it too. When you assess your peer group and up level according to your life purpose and vision, and once you have created a life shift for yourself, whatever that looks like, your life is not just full, it's fulfilled. Not only do you get more and better sleep, you wake up feeling rested and happy. You know that you're doing what you need to do. Yes, sometimes your heart will call you to leave certain friends or family members in order to find a more aligned peer group. From what I've seen, however, the ones who leave always return to lead their family and friends to success. Because your friends are more in alignment with your beliefs and value system, they support you while also pushing you toward your personal best. Life still involves work, but as a whole, it feels far more effortless. But you don't have to wait for the right person, right job, or right investment opportunity to show up. You can start living now so that every moment as you go forward through the process of recovering from rock bottom and redesigning your life is one more step to being the best version of you. The one who came... All right, if you are looking to reinvent life on your terms, if you are grieving, experiencing financial turmoil, career shifts, relationship problems, parenting, elder care, victims of abuse, breaking free from an addiction, or seeking an overall business and lifestyle redesign, then you may need a reboot. Is not size fits all, just like a pair of boots or a bra. So the formula is designed to help you through any situation. Tune in again right here on KCAA, the station that leaves no listener behind.